back. Is it working? Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I thought about what to say in this, uh, in, in this, in this talk. I was, I was asked to give some experimental tests of localization, and I realized that I was looking back at my own data of over 30 years ago, and, uh, and I, I don't know about the rest of you, but it's hard for me to remember what I was doing 30 years ago. So, uh, so, and then I started thinking about who was working in the field, both theorists and experimentalists, people that had some influence on the kinds of measurements that I and my colleagues and collaborators were doing. And I started creating a list, and, uh, and the list got really long, and, uh, and I'm going to show it for about five seconds because if your name's not on there, I'm going to flip it over so quickly that you won't notice it. <laughs> uh, and for those of you who saw your names, I fully recognize the work that you did during the time. For those of you who uh, were working on there and you didn't see your names, I apologize. And it just means that uh, 30 years has fuzzed over. So what I'm really going to do is give a very personal perspective. Um, interestingly enough, although Although David and I never really talked in detail about what we were going to talk about, uh, there's a lot of overlap between what I'm going to say and what David said. Uh, mine from an experimental perspective, uh, and, and his, of course, from, from, from a theorist perspective. So I'm going to give some, some personal reminiscences and, and, and some people who overlapped with us at the time, who competed with us, who differed with us, who agreed with us. I'm going to talk first about the three-dimensional case and uh, and some of our own measurements and other people's measurements in this in this in this transition this this metal insulator transition this localization driven by disorder in three dimensions uh, and then I'm going to talk about uh, talk about the, the notion of minimum two metallic conductivity in two dimensions because I thought it was just so elegant at the time it was just so beautiful we did measurement <laughs> and I'll show you a quote where he said Ah, we see very strong evidence for minimum metallic conductivity. And then I'll show you some more evidence that shows that it wasn't there. And then I'll uh, finish off with uh, weak localization discussions, magneto resistances, which, which uh, several groups were working on in the, in, the, in the late 70s and early 80s, which convinced me about the, about the, the nature of a long-range coherence and, and, and weak localization, which, uh, which made it very convincing. 